Hello everyone, Indie Brit Productions here with my comparison of the two Imperial Landing Crafts. The left one being the 7659 from 2007 and the right one being the 75221 from 2018. They both came with five minifigures. This one cost, or the left one cost $50 and the right one cost $90. So you can see a little bit of a difference there. All right, so let's get into the comparison of the minifigures. Taking a comparative look at our kind of pilot technician guys here for the Empire, we have the 2018 one right here and the 2007 one right here. So for the 2007 one, you have a very basic TIE pilot right there. And then you have a more detailed kind of technician. So I would say if you, you're not gonna really be buying this set for like technicians or pilots. So really that's pretty much it for these guys. They're basically just the pilots of the set. I'll take a little spin around on these guys. So overall, pretty nice mini figures, but if you wanna really look at them, I'd say that the 2018 one is better. Taking a look at our two type of sand troopers here, you can see the older one on the left right here and the newer one on the right. You can see more detailing on the newer one from 2018 which is more specifically a sand trooper, when the one on the left is more of just a normal stormtrooper with a orange pauldron. But since they both have those orange pauldrons, they're kind of like the leaders here. So I decided to kind of compare these guys together. So if you're looking for more detailed figures, I'd say go for the 2018 one. But if you're looking for an army builder, I'd say go for the 2007 one, if you're really split between the minifigures. So that's pretty much it for these guys. So taking a look at our other kind of stormtroopers here, you can see one with a shorter blaster, as well as no pauldron, and then a black pauldron sand trooper here. And there are two of these guys in the set, and I forgot to say earlier that there are two orange pauldron uh, older stormtroopers in the 2007 one. So sorry about that, but I'm just letting you know right now. And then a little quick spin around. Overall, pretty similar figures, but like I said again, if you're going for more detail, I'd say go for these guys right here. Really, I would say if you're looking more towards detailed, kind of displayable figures, I'd say go for the 2018 one. But if you're looking for more of an army builder, I'd say go for the 2007 model there. And so basically, I'm going to give this a tie because it's basically on your preference. I honestly prefer... I have to say probably the 2007 one just because it adds a nice little chunk of troopers to your army. So um, that's why I'm going to give that one the slight edge. But really, it's going to be a tie for me. So let's move on to the set comparisons. All right, now that we've compared the minifigures, I want to look at the two sets or the two builds. So these are both Imperial Landing Crafts, this one being from 2007 and this one being from 2018. So we're going to be judging on their values so their cost and how big they are and pretty much their part usage and then we're going to be looking at design seeing like what type of parts they use and like all the different like techniques used in it and then we're also going to be looking at the play features of the set so that will include like stud shooters flick fire missiles um rubber tipped missiles as well as just any other play features that are really included in the set so really i want to start off with the design of both of these sets so the overall aspect or like the overall aesthetic of the sets so I really think that the set from 2018 wins the category there so I won't really go into too much detail about that you can kind of see that this one's cockpit looks way better compared to this one the landing feet down here look way better compared to this one as well as the coloring just looks way better on the 2018 one so I really want to look at these sets more specifically looking at a kind of like more playability feature so let's start off with the 2007 one here you can see that this whole cockpit piece can pop off and you can actually fit your TIE Pilot minifigure in there so that's basically just one simple play feature and then you can also see 
on the 2018 one that this one slides up very easily so that you can put another minifigure in there so they both have that to them or to add to their docket then you can see these little stud shooters here which shoot off oh wow i actually found that one this time all right so i'll just put that right back on there so they both have those on each side well this one doesn't but it actually has these rubber tipped missiles which i'll actually shoot it here you can see that it shot off super quickly straight at the camera so good thing it didn't hit it but you can reload it super simply you just oh it's a little difficult to get in in there there we go all right so that's basically i do have to give the nod to the 2007 one because i do like those better than just some little measly studs those do add a level of mm to the hit. And if we look at both of their sides here, this one's head will kind of get cut off there because it can't really fit in the frame. All these can open up like so. So that's very nice. Both on each side. This one does have this to open up with a little ramp that kind of slides out here on both sides so that's gonna add a plus to this set but I'll show you something in the older set which just will blow your mind but for right now I'm not gonna really show that and then for the back here you can see that this one sits up a lot taller than this one you can see that their fins are pretty equal but their engine engine wise that these sit up a lot higher than this one this one the newer 2018 one you just fold these down they're on click hinges and pretty simple so not too much to say about this one overall it's has it's nice playability but that's pretty much it for this one so i'm going to move that one out of the way and also do keep in mind that you can store figures in these little compartments for the 2018 one but this one is where it really shines so this is where, this is the reasons why this one's going to win in playability. You can actually crank this. And the wings will actually fold down and actually fold up. So you can have it in a way more kind of interesting take on it with this gear worm mechanism. And if you've watched my review of both of the sets... If you haven't, go watch them after this video because I go in more depth about each of these. You can actually see these little clips down there. You can take them out very simply. And this whole section can actually lift off. This is what I was talking about earlier about the panels. And you can actually kind of play around in the interior. And this whole bottom section separates into its own drop ship. So this is why this set's going to win in the playability category. I just think that is an amazing feature that I wish LEGO would able to be incorporated in the newer one. But I guess they have to sacrifice playability for design, which in times is okay. But in this situation, I just find that it's better to have that playability there. But if we're actually looking at design and kind of overall mechanics through like technique and build structure... I do have to give the nod to the 2018 one just because it is a more sturdy build. If you were to drop it, this one would probably crumble, but this one would pretty much stay intact, probably. This one's head comes off super easily. If you just like hit it, you can possibly just knock it off. This one, you're not going to be able to move it. Like It's on there, and it's just easier to lift this up than having to take off this whole panel. And put that all back on. Although one major design aspect of the set that I really like that almost gave this set a slight knowledge was this kind of crank mechanism in the back here. But actually, I'm actually gonna I actually think that these are actually a tie for overall design just because of that crank mechanism in the back. So I think, yeah, those are gonna actually give it a tie. So a bit of a mind change there in the middle, but I think that's okay every now and then. And then, why this set would have almost had the slight edge to it is because it just has this overall stronger central body. 
in here. So like this is super sturdy. Like it didn't budge at all. It's going to be fine. It just has a more bulkier kind of sturdier shape to it. And this 2007 one, although it doesn't have that, it just kind of has this little Technic backbone here. I go more in depth about that in the review. So that's pretty much going to do it for these two guys. If you do want to see them in a little bit more depth, like a little bit more depth, like I said, there's going to be some links in the description below to the other two videos. So I highly incline you to go watch those two. So I did those about a week and two weeks ago. So those are still pretty prevalent. So that's really going to do it for the two builds of the set. So let's go look at my final opinion. Overall, I think that the 7659 and the 75211 Imperial Landing Crafts are a tie from my perspective of the comparison. I, since the playability, this one won, and since the asp like design aspect, they both tied, and the minifigures, they both tied, as well as the overall kind of design aesthetics of the 2018 one won, it basically tied them. So my overall opinion is that they're both equally amazing sets. This one, I guess, here's the thing. Here's the major tiebreaker. If you're really deciding if which one you want to buy, I say for an adult, you would want to buy, or like a more displayable piece, you'd want to buy the 2018 one. I think that it has some great playability features, which are a bit lacking compared to the 2007 one, but that design aspects of it are just amazing. And the overall aesthetics of it, like I said earlier, are just amazing. But if you want to buy this or either one of these two for a kid, I'd have to say it has to be the 2007 one. No doubt about it. This one has way more play features and overall is just a fun set to play around with. So if you ever get your hands on this, I definitely say to play around with it because it is a fun set to build as well as a fun set to play with after. And if you're really looking, if you're like tied in between the sets and you're looking at minifigures, it depends on if you want exclusive figures or like more specific figures such as these or if you just want to make majority army build, which it, I'd have to say for this one, but I'd say it's a tie. It really just depends on what you want to buy this set for. So that's really going to do it for me today. I hope you guys liked this review or this comparison. Like I said earlier, um, all of the older reviews will be linked in the description if you want to go check each of these sets out in a little bit more detail after you've decided on which one you would be more inclined to purchase. So that's really going to do it for, it for me today. Please like and subscribe if you do like the content I'm making out here. We're going to be having a lot more reviews next week as well as maybe changing it up and not just having some reviews and actually having some more interactive content because I do want to interact more with the viewers. Maybe we can be starting up a Q&A series sometimes in November. So I think that would be very interesting to kind of interact with the community a little bit more. I would love to do some type of kind of maybe live stream sometime maybe in November so just stay tuned for all that kind of stuff coming up with the channel so Andy Bird Productions is out and may the brick be with you